I've known Emily her entire life. I took care of all of the Rose girls. Can you describe Emily as you knew her growing up? She was a bit sickly in her early years. She stayed inside a lot, reading, learning music. How did she feel about going away to school? Objection, speculation, the witness is not a psychiatrist. I'll rephrase. Did you talk to Emily about going off to college? Yes, she told me she was excited, but nervous that she would be away from her family in the big city. This was an overwhelming change for her. Did you stay in touch after she went away? Yes, she wrote me a letter saying that she'd been to a dance and she'd met a boy named Jason. She didn't want her mother to know this because her mother did not approve of dancing and had warned her about the boys at school. And did Emily communicate with you again last fall after you received the letter? Actually, it was her mother. She telephoned me, waking me out of a deep sleep at four in the morning. She asked me to call Emily at a payphone on the university campus. When Emily answered, she was quite hysterical. At first, she just sobbed uncontrollably. But eventually, she calmed down enough to tell me what had happened. She said that she was alone that weekend. Her roommate had gone home. She had awakened and thought she smelled something burning. There was no alarm, but she got up, afraid there was a fire. 